What's up guys, just want to make a quick video for people looking for a budget alternative to the Hitbox. This is the F1 FC and this is the B1 FC. Both are from the same seller, the fightboxarcade.com. I will put the website in the description of the video and links to buy them respectively. They're both very different. This uses more traditional arcade buttons. You know, they're wired in the bottom and everything like that, just like your typical um, arcade stick. Uh, uses sandwall buttons, or so they say. I'll get to my opinion on that in a little bit. This uses PC switches, hot swappable. You can actually take them out. You can see right there, it uses Cherry MX Black, I believe it says. On the website very easy to uh, customize if anything goes wrong this one doesn't use any wiring you can see the whole board right there you can see the actual board that it uses the arc you can see how they're all pretty much internally wired these both go for depending on where and when you buy them they can go for about a hundred to a hundred and thirty dollars i bought them from amazon so they go for 130 if you choose to buy them from the official website, which I will link because I think it's better, you can usually get them for $99. Now, these both are only for PC. They do sell PS5 capable ones, but they do sell for a lot more. In my opinion, you're better off still going with the PC version and then getting yourself a Brook converter. The They just came out with the Wingman converter FGC, which works for the PS5. Overall, uh, the... B1 series, I think it's just a lot better. It feels a lot more premium, even though it's the same price. It's easier to access. You just got to take off these screws. And these pins come right out. The F series, kind of similar thing. You got to take off the screws for the legs. But then you see these little holes behind the legs. You got to stick something in there so that you can push out these plastic pins. And I just feel like... You can actually break them quite easily. I actually I was watching a how to take it apart video and the guy actually broke one of the foots. So overall, this one just feels a lot more premium. Getting straight to the point, if you are going to go budget for your first hitbox style leverless controller, I would highly recommend going with the B series. Uh, my inputs and everything have just been way better with this one here. And it just feels premium. I don't know if it's the plexiglass or what it is, but this just feels very cheap, very plasticky. Overall, I will be returning this. So again, if you're looking for a budget hitbox style controller, I would go with the B-Series. But I will link both if you're more of a traditional um, fight stick button type of guy. If you don't like the way, it, it just sounds like a keyboard because it is keyboard switches. But I just, I just love the feel. I love the responsiveness and everything. I was dropping my combos a lot more in this. And I've had this for uh, about going on two months. I had this, the F1 series. This I've only had for about five days. And I love it so much more. I almost forgot. One last thing. These both do support the new SOCD standard that Capcom wants for Street Fighter VI. Um, which is another reason why I would recommend the B1 because it's just so much easier to update this with this one compared to this one. Once you take the screws off and you take the top layer off, all you have to do is stick uh, the two ends of a tweezer to the hole right here that I'm pointing at. It, the software will come with instructions on how to do it, but you just got to stick the two ends in the little holes. You plug it in and the software will detect it compared to this one where you have to take it apart. You have to take the wire from the first button and plug it into another socket, and then the PC will detect it, which doesn't sound too complicated, but in my opinion, this is you don't have to do any of that. You just take off the top layer, stick the tweezers in, and you can update it and put the new SOCD standard on it. So again, I highly recommend this one if you're gonna go for a budget hitbox alternative.